with y'all. It's your girl, Chingaling and his thing. Back again, y'all. Today, we are about to tour where the hell I was raised, okay? So look, the first place first, y'all, we right on Clarita. Y'all, this is the court I used to be at when I was a kid. I used to come up here so we don't go check this shit out. It used to be so much more stuff, though. It's like, now it look like nothing but trees and, and dirt. Check it out, they over here hooping and stuff. All that good shit. I might have to. Hey, little bro. Do one of them. This house right here is pretty much where everything started. This was the most stable house I had. I had actually lived here for a few years, but it's like, I don't know. Every other house I had, we were there for a year or two. We moved a lot, you know? But this house, I think I was here from ages two to age like 10. So I spent the most time right here in this house. But y'all see what it look like now. Nobody live here. Y'all had a neighbor next door who used to watch me. I think she might still live there. I ain't gonna hold you. It looks like the same house. You know how a house look the same? Like it got the same energy on it. It looked like it's the same person there. But um, I actually had a friend who lived in this house on the corner right here too. Um, she was my ride or die, you know. <laughs> Had a couple of people who lived around the corner that was my friends, but for the most part, y'all, this is it. I had the best, the best times at this house. A lot of happy memories. Yeah, the less struggle. If I showed y'all the other cribs, y'all be like, look, if I showed y'all the other crib I had a mice infestation at, it was on the east side. No shade, I love the east side, but it was on the east side of Detroit, Mac and St. Clair. All we had was rats, okay? Mm. I probably killed 10 a day. <laughs> um, if y'all really want a part two, I could possibly dig deeper into that. But as of now, we're gonna just show y'all. So up here, y'all, that was the garage. There was my back door. I'm gonna go and hit it. Come on over here. I used to have so much fun here. We had a patio on the side right there. Mm. All of this that y'all see that's blocked off. This was, all of that was the, the yard to this house. So that was your yard over there? That was my yard over there. Behind here was all my yard. We had a whole decked out patio right there. Um, but yeah. So Good this is, it. I'm not walking into this part of it. But this is it, y'all. I remember one day. We got locked out the house. It was pouring, storming. We were stuck in the garage. We locked the door by accident. We had to go over there to my neighbor house that I just showed y'all and get like a, a screwdriver to break back into the house. It was crazy. But <laughs> this crazy. is it. Oh yeah. We had a basketball hey. room up there too. So that's where I got the- That's where you got it from? The hooping skills. Show from. me the jump very good. <laughs> okay. That's where it all happened at. It's where it, what the? My G. See, when you in the hood, hood shit just happened, bro. Let me shoot down this street. Cause it was an opening down here. I used to walk down too. I mean, it was one. Nah, this ain't the secret passage no more. Mm. It used to be right there. Right up in there was a secret passageway. When we used to get into the school. So we about to go around real quick. You said and tighten it up a little bit. They didn't got their security on deck and shit. So I used to get talked about all the time. All the time, bro. Did you used to get them back though? Absolutely. I'm getting them back oh, yeah. now. They seeing the niggas succeed. Anybody mm. take this. <laughs> my teeth used to be like this, bro. <laughs> Literally. Like my mouth would not like sit straight. Mm -hmm. Because like my teeth would my tooth was sticking out <sighs> in the front. I'm talking about I used to go to the skating ring, niggas be trying to be on me. Ah, and the moment I open my mouth and start smiling, them niggas used to cook my ass. <laughs> they used to walk away. I would never forget that shit. Mm. They used to walk away, bro. And then I just knew that I would never be able to get braces. So I just like, I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to accept who I am. So when niggas talk about me, nah. Boy, I'm going to laugh with these niggas. So that's what I start doing. Bullshit you not. Um, my brother brought a flyer home one day that said, free braces now i just knew in my mind we was poor i mean clearly we could not afford no braces it was like five thousand dollars a set i knew i wouldn't get no braces boy he brought that damn sign that uh flyer home 
me and my uncle Paul, we was out there at 5.30 in the morning. It was thunderstorming. We were completely wet. Uh, Our little umbrellas got blew over, okay? To get the and braces. I, to get the braces. Out of 1,500 kids, they chose 60, and I was one of them 60. So, y'all, this was my school from, I think I actually used to go to a church program called the YMCA. And now, uh, yeah, once they built the school, I was one of the first kids. I knew every teacher. I knew everybody, all the teachers. Everybody knew me. I was very popular. And um, they didn't change the name, nah. Detroit Service Learning Academy. My son actually go to this school. But that's how deep it go, though. Like, crazy. Uh, this is our gym area. So this whole building right here was the gym. And then we got... But I remember this building wasn't even here. Mm. Like, when they first built it, it was just that side. Yeah. They didn't stretch so, like, it. When I tell you, I was here from the birth. The, <laughs> the, I was one of the first kids to walk in here. We were a church before we were a school. Mm. Like, literally, I was the first kid. So, y'all, this <laughs> is the playground where it all went down. I got a very dirty um, story. Five boys. <laughs> try to jump me it was one of these things where if you come in the handlebar in the monkey bars you get beat up i beat up five boys in the monkey bars okay i had my first little crush right here this is crazy okay <laughs> what was that dude name who was that dude name either deshaun mcgee i forgot the boy name he ain't important he is important he important now nah, let me tell you why <laughs> He gave me my first necklace, like important jewel mm -hmm. type of gift for me to you, and I still have it today. Ooh. So if he, if you see this video, you already know who you are, okay? Oh. This is the old. First of all, look at this damn book. You can tell this book been around for a long time. Let's go in, y'all. Look at this shit. Look at these pictures. Ah, I was so little and embarrassed. Y'all, here go my mama. Very, very cute. You know this all. My, my brother at my mom's wedding. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, I was so cute. Look at my little brother. Look at me over here, y'all, with this damn. Y'all, oh, the yeah. memories. Too cute. I don't even know what to say. That's not you with the best. Bro, thing. look. <laughs> little fat baby, little chubby baby. Aww. Y'all, this is my baby picture. That was the main one right there. Mm -hmm. And this is actually my father. This is my biological father, y'all. Birthdays, okay. I hate it, Santa. You understand me? Now, this is interesting because this is when I start playing the piano at this age. See that piano back there? So when y'all correlate, make sure y'all correlate properly. Mm. But this is crazy. Y'all. School pictures. Wow. Me and my brother. You could tell I was a star, right? <laughs> but yeah, y'all. I don't know, man. Y'all want to see more of this book? Y'all need to go ahead and comment down below. So pretty much, y'all, all of this to say that you just never know where you're going to end up in life. And if I could say anything encouraging to someone out there, I would say to be yourself. Like, y'all got to see where I came from, how it started, where I was going, what side of the neighborhood. Just to let y'all know, I'm on 7 Mile. Okay, what side? 7 Mile. But I also lived on the east too. So if y'all do want a part two, comment down below and I'll show y'all the house I lived in on the east side. It was baby. Baby. It was jacked, okay? But yeah, I mean, I hope this inspired you guys to keep going, keep pushing, keep thriving, keep live outside your norms, live outside your conditions. And yeah, y'all, that's where I came from. So I love y'all so much. As always, it's your girl, Chingaling in this thing. And I'll be back again with another one, y'all. I love y'all. Peace.